23. This one I got a call from a customer. Um, got an oil burner and it's it tripped out on safety. And he's been using another company. And uh, I said, well, why do you call the other company back? I, I don't know. I guess he wants to start using me. But I don't never steal customers off people, off companies. I never steal customers off companies, you know. They call me and they want me to go do it, that's one thing, but I don't ever go in and try to, oh, let me do your burner service and get rid of the other guy, that's not my style, so. He called me out of the blue, and uh, I don't know what's going on with the other guy, why you don't want to call him, that's between them two. I did ask him, I said, why don't you call him, he says, I just, he'd rather use me, I guess, so. We're going to go over there and see if we can figure out what's going on with it. some shots. They don't probably need the, the boiler for heat as much as they do hot water. The oil boilers, um, you have to be running for the hot water. So I get a lot of people to say about that. Well, why do they need heat now? They don't need heat. They need hot water. It's all the same process. It's in the boiler. Try to get you some shots when I get over there. I'm not sure who this guy is. He says I worked for him before. Maybe once I see him, I'll remember. And uh, did he change the filter last time he was here? Every time he changes it. He changes it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a protected oil line. It's not. Alright. That's, that's okay there. It's just not working. It's not. It's, it, it's for heat. It's not for hot water. Right. So he was just here. No, he was here in August. That's when I changed the filter. Then. Okay. Here's the, his tag. Well, he was here in August. 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 Oh, 5th. last year. Okay. It's off on safety. What does that mean? We'll figure it out. Alright. Let's see if we got any spark. I want to see if we got any oil. Two things that would be an issue. It's off on safety right here. We'll check for spark. We'll check for oil. So we'll see if it squirts oil out. Just squirt oil, and then we'll check the spark once we start it. We'll see if it's got spark. Oh, we should get oil. Yeah, so it might be a little splashy. Well, I'm gonna reset it. This is the late oil valve here, so once it starts, we should be able to flip it open, check the spark. Unless you don't have it calling for. Back. No oil. I'm not getting any oil. Could be this is a could be this is a problem. Spark, we're not getting any oil. Let's try it again. The reset, and we'll see if this thing spins. I'm getting spark. This is closed.
get back control. No power. No power to the solenoid. See that? I got no power going to the solenoid. I got a bad, um, I got a bad control there. TT's standby call for heat. When it squirts out, I'm going to shut it down. Check and see if it's getting power. Directly. It's possible that's a bad cord. Oh, weird. Should be should read 110 on there. TT open. Hello. Do you want to turn the thermostat up? Should be getting 110 to this thing. I'm not sure. Let's see. All right, he turn, he's going to turn it up. Stand by. Call for heat. Okay. So we must have a bad solenoid valve there. The solenoid must be bad. Let's change that. I don't know why my thing's not registering. Uh, I got another solenoid. I wonder what the ohms are on it. Just for shits and giggles. I got the power off. What's the ohms? Open line. Room's an open line. Solenoid's bad. I got ohms here on this one. What we got there? I think that's mega ohms. Yeah, mega ohms. Just regular ohms. Four fifty-seven. Let's see. What, let's see what this one is. Open line. Got a bad solenoid there.
ready. I'll turn it on. We should get oil now. I don't know why that my other thing wasn't working. It was really weird. It's not off on hard lockout because I shut it off. Standby. Call for heat. There we go. We got oil now. Got oil. It was a bad solenoid. Wow, with the thing open, it wouldn't spin. Usually they spin if there's power going to it. Well, that control's probably still good. The other control. I'll put it back. The neutrals and the black, the red's the limit. Yeah, I don't know what goes where. Goes to black. White is neutral. White is neutral. White is neutral. Orange is blue motor. So the white is neutral. Purple is the valve. Blue is the igniter. And you got the two CAD cells. It's all back together. Then we gotta tie the two TTs in. It should be good. I'm gonna tie the two TTs into the thermostat. Solenoid. Usually, what I could do is put my uh, my little tester on it, and it'll spin if there's power going to it. For some reason, it wasn't. That's odd. Got to check it with a meter. All right, so I got that. We got it hooked back up. We got this back. It should fire now. A bad solenoid. It's on lockout. Might be on hard lock. I might have to hold it down for three minutes for it to blink. Obviously there's no power getting in there, but there's open line. 